this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video we're going to cover how to create a web photo gallery which is uh, you know just something that's nice to have you create uh, from your uh, images that you have Photoshop can do all the hard work of creating uh, adjust you know appropriate size images for you to show on the, on the web and also little thumbnails with little file descriptions and uh, you know style for your website it just creates all that does all the hard and nitty gritty work for you so the way that you do this you can just go into file and show all menu items if you have that. You want to go to File, Automate, and then go to Web Photo Gallery. And here you can uh, set up some details um, about uh, your website that you're going to be creating. So first of all, there are some styles here that you can choose from. You can click on them to see the, the description here on the right. You can see a little preview of them. And uh, let's say I want to go over here with this one here. I'm going to go with the Flash Gallery number two here. And uh, it just alerts you that the viewers will need, you know, Flash to view that. If you don't want a Flash one, then you can just select any one of the other ones that don't have Flash. And um, you can set up here an email address if you want, uh, which will, you know, be shown in, in, in your uh, website. And uh, mainly here what we want to concern ourselves with here is the source images. So uh, typically you'll be, you know, using quite a lot of images. So you want to select the folder that has all the images that you want to use for your, uh, for your uh, gallery. So we can go ahead and click on choose here. And I'm going to go ahead and just select here the little web album that I have with six images that I want to use for our album. And then what I'll do here is um, click here on the destination to set a destination point. So I'm going to create a new folder here calling it... Uh, my flash gallery and select that so I'm gonna go from you know one folder to the other they have to be separate folders not inside each other and uh, one little thing here is if you have folders within your folder of you know your original images make sure to tick the include all subfolders so it includes all of those folders if you don't want them included just untick that if you don't have any other folders inside of your folder then you don't need to worry about this okay and uh, the other option here the last thing is your option so you have quite a few options here there's a general banner and so forth the ones you need to concern yourself with is um, I'd say is largely here the banner which uh, will show here your uh, your site name your uh, you know your name and contact details and so forth um, your images here you want to be able to actually have Photoshop resize the images because largely you'll have images that are way too big for the web I would suggest 450 pixels at a minimum and about 800 pixels at a maximum so somewhere in there a happy medium would be fine uh, JPEG quality of uh, around 6 to 8 or something like that Nothing five or below because then the image quality kind of uh, suffers from that. And you want to make sure that your image actually you have here, it goes by default, but just make sure you are constrained to both, uh, which means both the height and the width, whichever one is the biggest one of your image. So if you have portrait or landscape images, it'll fit that to 450 pixels. So you don't end up with huge images whichever way. So just whichever one reaches 450 pixels in this example here would get constrained first. So that works really well. And uh, the other uh, bit here that you need to concern yourself with is the thumbnails. Thumbnails are the little previews here down at the bottom. And uh, 100 pixels, I think, works really well. You can also, you know, choose different sizes if you choose to. And, um, you know, medium, large. And the last bit here that's kind of interesting is the uh, security. Security allows you to essentially put in a watermark over your photos so that people can't, uh, you know, easily steal them or something like that. So what I've done is selected here a custom text and put in my text here saying, you know, the year and these are my photos and so forth. With a font size of 36, this works quite well. You might want to test this out. A color of white and opacity of 40%, which means that it, kind of, it will look more like what you're used to, uh, you know, just a, a watermark. So uh, leaving out a 40% means that you can see the text, but you can see the things underneath it as well. So it's not, you know, absolutely opaque. So that works quite well. I'm going to click OK, and Photoshop will just do its thing. It'll resize all, all the images quite quickly, and open up your default web browser, and uh, it will uh, load up your gallery. So here we are with our little gallery, and uh, what we can do here is just select within, you know, our, um, you know, we can see our images and so forth. So here you are with uh, your photo gallery done. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.